We've done a lot of political analysis over the past few days, but let's talk about what it's like to be at the DNC as an everyday American. Melanie Foote Davis is still processing day one of the convention. She joins me live to share her experience. She went with her family, and she is family. She is my cousin, as we say on my daddy's side. Hey, cuz. <laughs> hey, cuz. How are you? I'm fantastic. So good to see you. I like that bright yellow. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, first tell me, how did you get the opportunity to go? And why was it important for you to be there and, and take your family with you? Well, I actually had the opportunity through my daughter, Trinity. Um, she um, was able to go and she got to bring a plus one. Mm. And I was her plus one. Uh -huh. And so I'm really um, grateful that I actually had the opportunity to experience this historic moment with her. You know? What was it like? being there, the energy, the vibe, mm -hmm. the politicians, the celebrities. You know what? It's um as you said earlier, I'm still like it's still downloading, right? But I could just feel like the collective energy okay. was this energy of enthusiasm and us optimism and possibilities and that felt really good like to see us coming together um as a collective working on one accord and, and just even being there, like being in the space, <laughs> to be honest, last night I thought I was having withdrawals because I was missing being in the <laughs> in person. But being there, I felt seen. Like the way that they used um, story to um, approach and, and share the whole person about who President Biden is and who Vice President Harris is it really warmed my heart to to actually address the whole person again. And I know you said you're still downloading, still processing, but any moment in particular especially sticks out with your uh, quote you've been hearing in your head constantly. Ooh, so the storytelling again, the story about um, when the first daughter spoke mm. and she shared who her dad was, that warmed my heart. When uh, Vice President Harris's best friend and sister were sharing stories about how she took a stand for them, it felt like, wow, this is someone who actually has a pulse on what's really happening on the ground. And they'll also take a stand for me and take a stand for the nation and our well-being is actually being considered. And so that's those stories really, um, I got really emotional on that. What was it like standing there or sitting there with Trinity, your daughter right beside you, and you're both just experiencing this historic moment together? It was, I'm still fi trying to find the word for it. So since I don't have the word, I'll just say it felt like, mm. <laughs> Right? <laughs> it just felt like, mm. And I would find myself looking at her and then looking at where we are and then looking at her. And occasionally I'd reach over and, you know, touch her hand. It just, and I, and I thought about my mom and your grandmother even and how much they would appreciate this moment. Mm -hmm. They're both looking down at us right now. I'm sure smiling yes. and laughing, having a good old time. Um, Absolutely. Any yeah. advice for anyone going tonight or tomorrow night? Best time to leave, best transportation now. options, best <laughs> footwear to rock. <laughs> the best time to leave is now. You want to make sure you allow time for any unexpected circumstances. Um, be fabulous, but be fabulous in your comfortable shoes because you may have to walk further than you anticipate or the line to get through security may be a little longer than you anticipate as well. And I know you are a well-being leadership coach, so I would really be remiss before I let you go if I didn't ask you to give Chicago a word of encouragement. There's so much going on, and uh, not all of it is good. What would you, you say to the, the great people of Chicago and across the nation as well? That, you know, your well-being really matters to me. Your well-being matters to, as I can see at the DNC, to the president. Give yourself permission to take a moment. Sometimes you just need to take a moment to just pause, exhale, and just get centered. And give yourself a moment to check in, become self-aware to know what to ask for. And when support is available to you, open your heart to actually receive it. 
we have a tendency to say, oh no, that's okay. I'm okay, I'm all right. But we get to have reciprocity in our giving and in our receiving. So open your heart to expand your capacity to receive love, support, nourishment, encouragement, or whatever you need. Beautiful, Cuzzo. Beautiful. By the way, uh, your big cuz says hi. Dad says, what's up? <laughs> hey, cuz. <laughs> Always good to see you. Thanks so much for, for doing this for me. Oh, it was my pleasure. My pleasure. Right. Love you. Take care. Bye. Bye.